All right, guys, today let's talk about Karina Control and why you should probably consider watching this video, learning how to play a deck, uh, learning how to play against the deck. Uh, we're going to have a few games here shortly so I can showcase the deck and hopefully get people aware about what the deck is so somebody can counter it because I am sick of seeing it. Uh, the deck basically revol revolves around Karina. You use Commander Lidros, it's a semi combo, semi control, very oppressive deck in the matchups that it's good against. So. Uh, let's jump over. We're going to have a few games. We're going to talk about the deck and uh, hopefully we'll get some wins. So the matchups that we're looking for is basically other control decks. Anything running Ezreal, we're going to pretty much take a shit on. And well, let me just tell you, opening up the mirror match. So I suspect this is going to be obnoxious. So this is going to be a whole about their value and hopefully finding the right cards when we need them. I actually don't mind Vile Feast, Static Shock or Skidder. Two copies of Static Shock, eh. <laughs> I would have preferred to find a Harkless Aristocrat. Any chance to get onto the board early is the best option for us. Oh my. Pull the strings. So already off to a pretty noxious start. You should open attack here. Yeah, it makes sense. Probably just open up the Vile Feast. I could have maybe considered Mystic Shotting and then Vile Feast in the Elise. It definitely kills it. But I'll keep my options open going into next turn. I'll be able to wiggle around with a Static Shock and a Mystic Shot if I need. I can play a Skidder right now. Yeah, I think we should play a Skidder right now actually. So we can develop a minion. Because uh, it'd be hard playing the skitter out on an open board. At least it's nice. I think I want to develop that. There's nothing to fear. I don't think there's any point to swinging. I don't want to give him valuable trades. I'll just pass it back. This is going to be a ridiculous game. Not going to do anything. We have what we need. Spitter out from the darkness. What's your hurry? Do it like this. So we're realistically looking to try and push as much value from our cards as possible. Bile feast, okay. I'll let that happen. See, the problem is if I Static Shock, I give him an opportunity to play Glimpse. It's gonna pass. Maybe 
the aristocrat. I just want to see what he does here. A pretty present this is very make. much lots of mind games now. <sighs> so I could progress day. Because we're not using our mana at all. Don't. I think that's okay. So he'll probably play Commander Lidros and I'll play mine. My Lidros will find a lot more value than his. It's actually really good. Um, I'm quite sure if you have the Lidros, you play it. It may mean that he doesn't have the Lidros. Which is shocking. Every step brings me closer to deliverance. So I can swing with Elise and Leedros because he has no... He has to block the Leedros almost. For the Karina because he can't even afford to ruination at the moment. There's no way of denying the Magnum Opus. Ambition in time. Pretty weak. You don't want to see that. You want to see. You want to see five spells get removed. Not that whatever that nonsense was. pass. He'll be in a position where he's pretty much forced to ruination. And he's pretty much on the back foot. He's not going to be able to develop his Lidros or Karina comfortably. They will learn to fear the sun. So he never deals enough damage to Karina. I'll let that go through. Each he got pretty unlucky with his too. <laughs> and we pretty much just play our lead Ross, right? It's a logical move. We'll probably have lethal next turn. Beam.
I'm actually going to Static Shock here. This is to bring him down to four. The open attack is coming back into our turn. Lead Ross, it gets killed. I replay Lead Ross. Possible Mystic Shot Lethal. We don't have enough mana for it, actually. But we'll see what happens here. Open attack. There's also other ways we can find lethal. Uh, Lee Dross about to get burned. I really needed to figure out. I think that's lethal anyway. There's no answer in the book to block that damage. GG. No, that was a pretty just average matchup. Like he just basically come down to move down the answers first. Here we go. This is the matchup we like to see. Ah, oh, we pretty much don't even need to play minions. Keep a grasp when I get excited. These are ways to deal with Karma. So against uh, Karma Ezreal, you don't have to do much. He needs to level up Ezreal by basically targeting enemy units. What you looking for? Mystic shot that. Save me, Luke. This is your best matchup. This is your oppressiveness coming into tuition. Swift and silent as the breeze. I'm on the attack token, so I'll do nothing. I can grasp it next turn. Fast as wind, light as air. get excited I could grasp there but this is not a bad opportunity to just get excited and grasp is just more flexible and more valuable you may deny it and then that's a that's a good deny we'll still have grasp Us. The order rewards its faithful. Now we'll grasp. If you see opportunities to just pass your turn. Could have opened up with grass, but I wanted to see in case he played something else that may have been more threatening. And he was definitely out of range for deny, so that was a pretty easy decision to make. I will play my part.
Und es gibt eine Box. Let's open up with this. Possibly gets denied. Okay, let's file feast. I could have done this prior to the elusive unit uh, hacking me, the shadow assassin. But this way, it just gives me options and flexibility in case he plays cards afterwards. Pretty standard uh, Rintero mechanics. This way I do take one extra one damage in total because he deals two, I heal one here if it goes through. But uh it's resourceful. I didn't want to play Broad Awakening because simply I don't want to give him opportunities to use spells against my units or target them. It doesn't have to be spells actually. So here's his first opportunity to actually deal a spell to one of my units. I uh, will pass here. Already got Leedros and Karina in hand. Most of the time you will not keep these from your Melligan. You have a high chance of finding them. Pass. And this is like bread and butter, dude. I tell ya. Uh, Vengeance is really nice. It's finally probably something productive I can do against his board. Probably use the Vengeance this turn if he actually plays anything. So now, uh, the problem is, you can deny the lead Ross. But you can't really deny the damage that the lead Ross can deal if I smack him in the face for 9. So that's fine. Now I get the chance to play something. Opportunity. Missy Shot's actually a really good find there. I don't want to give him spells from my deck. Then Leedros comes down. This is really obnoxious. This deck becomes way too flooded on the ladder. Hopefully, we see some more Demacia midrange decks coming in. It's shitting all over us. Where there is life, there is hope. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Alright, so we open with Karina. Like a flower, Zan will bloom. We're looking for at least four. I just want to be able to deal Ambition with the karma. One, two. That's the worst outcome. That sucked. Ah, uh, two. I will not suffer fools. He's pretty much forced into a spot where he has to double block anyway, so not too much of a big deal. It is a shame that we couldn't have pretty much ended the game right there and then. Alone, you see things as they truly are. Let's pass, float the mana, have the free spell mana on deck. Trust 
Tread lightly, strike hard. I think this is fun. Yeah. It's a weird match. That was really weird. It didn't play out how I thought it was going to in my head. I think it might have been because uh, the opponent we were versing had a rough idea of what we were trying to do. But we really just negated him any value from getting uh, buffs onto Ezreal, which is a big problem for that deck. Which is why we might see if the Karina rises, then that deck declines, and then we'll probably see mid-range decks come back into the picture. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, would you be so kind as to subscribe? 90% uh, of the viewership I get is actually from uh, non-subscribers, which is crazy. If you're watching my videos, just hit it, dude.